Good evening guys and welcome to another spooky vlog. The, um, tonight has brought us to the little, I guess you could call it a little village, little hamlet of Millbrook. It's in Bedfordshire, we're not far from Flittick or Amptill, so I'll get the old torch shining a bit better. Um, I have found this place before in the daytime. Paul's had a look and he couldn't find it, but there is an abandoned spooky chapel in the woods at the top of a hill. Um, it's not your Westphalian or something, I can't, can't pronounce it. It's, I think it's something to do with um, the Americas or something, but it's an oldie woldy type chapel. Um, it became abandoned, I believe it was 1972. Population of this area is about 200 people. Um, it's got some history to it. It's spooky, it's sinister, it's supposed to be haunted. Um, I think there's a guy called Dick Ferguson. He was an absolutely useless highwayman. He's supposed to roam this area. So let's go and have a look. Again, it's one of those spooky night vibe jobs where we have to make our way through a wooded area. Luckily, this is actually close to the road. If I describe the way we get to it as we go, for any of you that wanted to do this, it might make it a little bit easier for you. Yep, so this is Millbrook. We are adjacent to a test track, a General Motors test track, I believe it is. Um, when we done the ride at Epcot years and years ago, the test track ride, it used to come under General Motors and it used to have an overall plan of all the test tracks for vicinities throughout the world and it actually showed a picture of this one. The road that we're walking up is the the main road that goes through Millbrook itself. Is a bit of the top, is a roundabout, I call it Bacon Junction because generally during the year it's a pig farm and then Christmas time they have turkeys there on the corner so if ever you're driving through on the way to Flittick or Amptill you'll know exactly where I'm talking about. The other side of that roundabout is your woven centre parks. So you've got this side is where you've got the chapel, the other side of the road is the centre parks with all its tropical oasis etc. But it's not tropical where we're going that's for sure. So this is the bit where we got across the road and it's like a, an overgrown rampy risey bit up the top and the chapel should be, this is where it gets stung the pieces. Look at that, I've got to walk through that but let's do it anyway, ouch. This is where you know you should not be wearing shorts but should be in trousers. Yes, I'm getting stung the pieces guys, all this for a video. It wasn't like this the last time I come up here. But this is your climb to the top. But as we get halfway up, we should be able to pan off to the side. We've got to make sure we don't disturb snakes, etc. As I said, guys, I've got bare legs. Where are they? There they are. And I'm walking through all these stinging nettles just to bring you a video. I know it's crazy, but some things I have to do, I have to take some antihistamine when I get home. I'm going to be sore, that's for sure. I don't mind telling you guys, that was horrible going through all that lot. I don't want this to focus a bit better because of the light. We're deep in the woods now. Still nettles all around, stinging me to bloody pieces. We want to go over that way. Pull in front of me shows you what we're facing to try and get to this place. We are shoulder high in bracken, knee high in stinging nettles, and there's some awful sort of weeds that have got sharp edges on them that are just ripping us to pieces. But I think Paul might have made his way through. Let's we'll see. Got to be very, very careful. We will not lie to you guys, it's been an absolute nightmare to just get to this place through the bracken, the trees, climbing under things and over things, bankments. But that is your abandoned chapel in the woods. I said I'll do a spirit box if I can get my way through there. 
there's the front there it's been abandoned for oh must be 50 55 years a tree fell on it at some point in the 70s and the roof fell in and it's just been left in that state that Paul's making his way through slowly over there okay this is the front end of your chapel I'm gonna do a spirit box shortly I said it's very overgrown inside so there's no point in going inside the roof just collapsed inside over there anyway just that beam holding up the walls but yeah this has been abandoned for 50 odd years Paul just looking here there's a cave spider here to show you nasty little sub will give you a nasty night <laughs> nip <laughs> not that we haven't been stung and bitten to pieces tonight already <sighs> the things we do guys to bring you a video this took a humongous effort some would say a stupid effort but there you go we done it and others didn't right let's crack on okay we are gathered here today at the abandoned chapel at Millbrook supposedly sinister supposedly haunted one of the possible haunts is that of a guy called Dick Ferguson who was a notorious very bad admittedly but a notorious highwayman who died in the 1800s around this area um, those who frequented the church who may have come back in an afterlife Feel free to make yourself present now. Are there any spirits here with us tonight? Or is it just me and Paul alone? Has anyone passed on but has not found their way fully to the afterlife? and he's hanging around this area in limbo trying to find their way are there evil presents with us tonight I believe I heard just then possibly the big guy. Who is the big guy? <laughs> is this place evil or is it a sanctuary? The signs of bugs making their name, making themselves present, should I say, here, like cave spiders, other insects coming out. Are they due to the light, or is it someone following someone unearthly? Okay, we thank you for your time. Please allow us to go home in peace and please do not follow us.
The place itself is known as the Valley of the Shadow of, De Shadow of Death. That's what I've read up on. Um, I have to give some moment while I'm obviously it's pitch black, so I have to have a look. But it was a, a famous pilgrim writer who wrote about this place. It goes way back. I don't know if it's doomsday, etc. But um, he wrote about this place and said that it was full of hobgoblins and dragon type creatures and all sorts in this general vicinity now i've not said that i've just read that off the internet if you type in millbrook and the valley of the shadow of death it all comes up so there's no lies coming from my point of view it's certainly got spooky vibes to it and getting here amongst all the weeds which were absolutely atrocious you didn't enjoy that, did you, Paul? Yeah. And we've got to make our way back through that as well. So it's not been pleasant, but to bring it to you guys sort of kind of makes it special, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I shall quickly look up this information for you and get back to it. Okay, the guy's name was John Bunyan, who is a pilgrim, and he's made his way to a celestial city. Oh, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. But um, he come across this area named it as the valley of the shadow of death um and i think it's something to do with the devil or whatever you you would have to type it in and look it up it's very difficult we're very tired it's been a long trek to actually get to something which would generally take us i estimated it was going to take us 10 minutes but it's taken us a good hour because we've had to fight our way through this it wasn't just walking it was stamping through undergrowth to try and get a firm footing because each step could have been a drop down either side i knew generally the area for one moment i thought have they knocked it down because we carried on for it must have been half an hour not finding anything but luckily enough we come to this little bit of a clear and i saw a glimpse of a wall and thought yeah that's it we were here we made it right guys myself and paul are going to have to fight our way back through this we've probably got um an hour to get back at least to the car i reckon just because of what we've got to make our way through i mean you look yeah. around there it's yeah. pitch black it's shoulder high forms of bracken etc not very pleasant um so i dare say i'm going to get stung to pieces yeah tell you it's weird you go for the stinging nettles and that stings like hell and then you go through the bracken and it's all of a sudden it's soothing so it must have some sort of medicinal effect but then when you come out of that and you're standing still your legs are like they're like they become fizzy you just feel the tingling sensation of where you've been covered in stings uh, we shall make our way back we've survived it so far just got to make it back to the car thanks for watching um really appreciate it we tried again um just doing these places it is supposed to be a full moon but I have not yet seen it because it's very cloudy and overcast. Um, we will be doing more of these for sure, but I think a lot more safer in the, in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the movies. Bye for now.